Here we see a Roman auxiliary cavalryman. One of the major things you'll notice about the cavalryman is he's riding without stirrups. The Roman cavalry at this time did not have stirrups. It was not until far later that they actually came across to Britain as it was then. There are quite a few differences between cavalry equipment and infantry equipment for legionaries that you might already see, and some things which are the same. You'll see that a major change here is the helmet. The helmet is highly decorated and not as heavy set as an infantry helmet, which makes it easier to use on the back of a horse. If you look at the armour, the armour is hamata or male armour that you'll see often used by infantry. The horse used here is traditionally large for a Roman horse. Many of the depiction of Roman horses show them to be a lot smaller, along with archaeological finds. Whilst they were the exception, there were larger horses at the time. The cavalryman here has two different types of shield. The smaller red one is based upon an example found in Doncaster. The blue one you'll see more regularly in a lot of depictions of cavalry and was also used as auxiliary shields for infantry as well. You will see that the sword is different to the shorter gladius used by infantrymen. This is called a spartha. You'll see various uses of the spartha and it's designed for more effective use on horseback. The cavalrymen had other weapons to use as well. One of these was javelins. Javelins are short light spears, which again can be deployed at speed from horseback. You'll see that the cavalryman can also carry a spear. Again, this spear can be thrown, but can also be used effectively off of horseback and retained by the rider to attack enemies as they pass. You'll see that the cavalry also use archery. You'll see from the shape of the bow that it's easier to use on horseback than longer bows of later periods. Finally, you'll see the Draco, the Dragon Standard. This was adopted by the cavalry in the second century AD and its use continued into the late Roman period. I think you'll agree it looks quite impressive.